Hi guys from FIBO 2018. I'm so glad and happy, thankful for the opportunity to talk with my favorite bodybuilder, Dennis Wolf. So, how are you, Dennis? How do you feel? I see that you. I saw that you were taking pictures for hours with your fans. So I, that's why I think also that you are a great bodybuilder as a person, and also because of your achievements in the sport. I, um, thank you very much for your kind words. Yes, I'm um, here since 10 o'clock, so standing four hours straight at the booth, and um, the line just didn't end. You know, had no end. Yeah, so I'm really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I really, I'm really happy about this and thankful, and I really appreciate all the support I uh, receive, even you know, since my comeback, even more, and this is just great. And I love my fans. The fans are unbelievable, and uh, thank you guys. Everyone's want to know uh, how is it with your comeback? What are you uh, gonna do now? Uh, how is your training doing and all that stuff? What can you say about this? All right, um, my, my uh, preparation for the show was not the same as uh, in the past because of, uh, you know, not, yeah, so I, uh, um, uh, the, the injury and uh, the recovery time and uh, losing a lot of mass, but uh, I was at the end more happy than I thought I would be because, uh, you know, I still had the good symmetry, you know, the condition was great. The only thing that was missing uh, was mass, you know, and uh, I think the judges, um, you know, were, yeah, not used to it, you know, to see me a little bit lighter. Um, but, like, in overall, it was a great preparation because I had a lot of support from my wife, my daughter, and of course, a lot of motivation from the fans, you know, and this is the most important thing. And I think that took me to another level a little bit more, you know. It's also what motivates you probably to yes. improve, yeah. Yeah, without motivation you you cannot reach your goals, you know. Do you still believe that is it possible to see again this big bad wall back even better than it was in the past? I mean everything is possible and I'm working on it, so what I need now is like to gain some mass and uh, this is uh, in my plans for the next two to three months. I'm taking a real off-season uh, uh, um, yeah, diet, <laughs> yeah. And uh, after that, I will decide, will I compete this year again or wait until next year, like something in the beginning, like Arnold Classic or something like, like I did this year. So um, I just need some time to see how the, the gain, gains are going, you know, in the next couple of months and then I'll decide because right now it's the most difficult time for gaining weight because I'm on the road uh, doing uh, expos, guest appearances, seminars uh, in, in uh, many different countries and uh, that's why it's, it's kind of yeah a bad 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 uh, time for now uh, to start uh, my, my uh, yeah uh, off season but you know it is how it is uh, sometimes I need to uh, squeeze a couple things in together so uh, uh, but I'm really looking forward to uh, start my real off-season uh, diet. I wish you that you're gonna be back big again ASAP, of course. We're all gonna wish you that. Um, we are at the Amix, so please can you tell us something about supplements? Which one do you think are the most necessary supplements for bodybuilders? And let's say you can say top five. And which one do you think is the most underrated or underestimated supplements? I think, uh, you know, what my favorites are is uh, uh, the whey protein uh, from Amex is a iso uh, isolate whey. It is very, very clean, very tasteful and uh, healthy. You know, it's not that much sugar in it. Yeah, I use it probably uh, yeah, I mean three times uh, a day, and like in the morning for breakfast sometimes, of course post uh, workout and before bed. Um, I'm kind of guy don't like to switch it up the proteins, so I'm I'm, I'm staying with way, way isolate, so it's all the time. Of course the uh, uh, aminos, all this stuff is very important. That's what I always take in uh, yeah before I work out. Sometimes during the workout depends how long my workout goes. Can you tell us how much aminos are you using? Uh, because it's yeah. 
I'm always using 10 to uh, 15 grams uh, before the uh, workout and then probably 5 to 10 after workouts because sometimes I decide uh, I do drink protein shake or just take uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, amino acids and then go straight home and have a meal. You know, so it depends. Are you also using Asian B and that stuff? Yes, yes. I use a lot of vitamins from uh, MX Nutrition, everything. This is just a great company which just, uh, you know, put everything in, in the production of the best products. And you see the products, I mean, uh, doesn't matter. It's like, just like Mr. Popa or just no more protein. It has a good taste. The quality, quality is very, very good. And of course, you know, what most important thing is not so much sugar in it. Most people don't understand that sugar is the you know the most worst thing next to alcohol, you know, and so I mean and that's why I prefer most Amex products because this is just great, not just from, from the taste standpoint uh, uh, good but also the quality wise. Is there any supplement you think is the most underestimated by people? Um, I, um, yeah, I think glutamine. Glutamine is uh, very. I, I use it even if I uh, have some some problems, skin problems, something like that. The yes, the immune system needs uh, glutamine. This is most powerful, uh, yeah, supplement I would say, and underrated because people, some of some of, some of the athletes doesn't even uh, take it. Think like, oh, I need just uh, amino or this and that. But glutamine is more important. Thing, I would say. Are you also using, uh, let's say, digestive enzymes if you are trying to gain mass and you need to eat a lot of protein and stuff like that? Yes, usually if I uh, increase my uh, meals during the day, I always try to have like every meal some uh, multi enzymes, and of course, protein. Uh, um, uh, Amix has this type of supplements. You know, like I said, they have almost everything what we, what a bodybuilder or an athlete needs. You know, so. And this is just great. The only thing we uh, still don't have is probiotica, but I think they're <laughs> soon gonna uh, doing that because uh, this is what I um, prefer. You know, multi uh, multi enzymes uh, and probiotica for my digestive system. It's especially in the off season when you start eating more and more. All right, Dennis. I will not torture you more because I know that you are tired and you also want to take rest. Maybe eat something. So I'm very thankful for the opportunity to talk to you and I really wish you all the best. And if there is something you would like to say to our and your fans as well, I will be happy for that. Thank you very much and uh, for my fans, from all my heart, thank you so much for supporting me over the years and uh, especially for the yeah comeback story. I mean, that was just amazing. And uh, I couldn't believe when, when I saw like how the fans reacting to this, you know, and this is just, I'm really thankful and uh, from all my heart. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this amazing bodybuilder, Dennis Wolf. Dennis, thank you. Wish you all the best. Thank you.